All right, so I've got the JBL Endurance Peak 3. These are the latest pair of gym earbuds from JBL. They've got the around the ear hook. And like I say in a lot of my videos, if you struggle in terms of fit when it comes to true wireless earbuds, a lot of times the safest option is to get a pair that have the around the ear hook to give you that added security, especially if you're an active person and you work out and you hit the gym. So if that sounds like you, these are going to be a pair that you may or may not want to check out. And these are coming with some upgrades compared to the Endurance Peak 2. So let's go ahead and take a look, starting off with the case. So the design of the case is pretty much the exact same as the Endurance Peak 2. It's large, it's bulky, uh, which is pretty much the case with any gym earbuds that have the around the ear hook. Since the earbuds themselves are larger, you do need a larger case to, you know, store the earbuds whenever you're charging or not using them. So if pocketability is a major concern, then I would recommend something like the Soundcore Sport X10, uh, which still have the around the ear hook, but they do have a much smaller case. Um, on the top, you can see you do have your JBL logo. On the front of the case, you have a little LED bar right there to help you gauge your remaining battery life. And then on the back is where you have your type C charging port. Unfortunately with these, there is no wireless charging. So if that's a feature that you're looking for, you will have to look elsewhere. When it comes to the earbuds, again, the design is pretty much the exact same as the Endurance Peak 2. Um, they do come in black as well as white. And really this white color is more of a grayish color, uh, which is probably a good idea with these being a pair of sport earbuds or gym earbuds. You're probably going to be sweating a lot and probably putting these in some uh, circumstances that might cause them to get a little dirty. So, you know, 100 percent white probably isn't a good idea. Now, another thing I like about these is the overall finish of the earbuds. It's got like a rubberized texture, so they feel very rugged, which kind of matches the whole, you know, sports theme. They are IP68 dust and water resistant. So, you know, dust, dirt, grime. None of that is going to harm these earbuds. Now, these are also using what they call, I think, the power hook design. So basically, the ear hook on these earbuds acts as the on and off. It's got a magnetic feature. So when you're not using them, that ear hook stays locked onto the remainder of the earbud. And then when you take it and put it on your ear, that's what actually turns the earbud on. So if you want to pair these to your phone, if you just take them out of the case, that doesn't turn the earbuds on. You have to actually put them around your ear and disrupt that magnetic connection there with that ear hook. They are using touch controls as well. And the sweet spot that I found for the controls is actually not the JBL logo. It's actually the area right in front of the JBL logo. So if you, you know, tap in that general area, you're going to get very accurate performance from your touch controls. And speaking of the touch controls, um, you do have to pick and choose which controls you want. Uh, they have added ambient mode to these, which is something that the Endurance Peak 2 didn't have. So between your ambient controls, your playback controls and your volume controls, you do have to pick and choose which sets of controls you want for each earbud. And you can do that within the JBL headphones app. So the earbuds are running Bluetooth 5.2 and they do support Google Fast Pair. Uh, which gives you that very seamless pairing process if you have an Android device. So as somebody that has a Samsung phone, uh, that's definitely a feature that I like. You also do have single usage mode. So if you want to listen to just the left earbud while the other is in the case or just the right earbud while the other is in the case, you do have that option. In terms of the battery life, that's going to be another area that they upgraded compared to the Endurance Peak 2. So on a single charge, you're looking at roughly 10 hours of use with about 50 total once you factor in the case. So the charging case is going to give you an additional 40 hours roughly. With the Endurance Peak 2, I want to say the battery life was around six hours on a single charge and 30 total, if I'm not mistaken. And these also do feature fast charging as well. So just 10 minutes will give you roughly an hour of use. So if you need to charge these up really quick to get in a last minute workout, it's nice to have that feature. So like I said earlier, one of the upgrades is the ambient mode. And basically what that does is allow the earbuds to pass through your ambient sounds 
so that you can be more aware of your surroundings. And for a pair of earbuds that are designed for working out, that can be important, especially if you work out outdoors. So if you're a runner, you know, running in a busy city, you need to be able to hear traffic or maybe you run on, you know, wooded trails or something like that or walk on wooded trails. It's important to hear if somebody's coming up behind you, maybe someone's getting ready to pass you on a bike and you need to get out of the way. Having that feature is definitely useful in those instances. And within the JBL headphones app, you do have two different options in terms of the ambient mode. You have the full ambient mode and then you also have the talk through option, which is designed to pick up a little bit better on voices. So if you're trying to have a conversation with someone, uh, that's what that mode will be used for. But honestly, I just prefer the full ambient mode. I feel like that passes through the most of your ambient sounds. So that's pretty much the mode that I use exclusively. Now, when it comes to sound quality, these are using a 10 millimeter driver. And for those of you that follow the channel, you'll know that personally, I'm a big fan of JBL earbuds when it comes to sound, just the type of music that I usually listen to and the type of sound that JBL earbuds produce, they kind of go hand in hand. So I definitely like the sound on these. It's a very powerful sound, very dynamic. And the fact that you have EQ controls allows you to customize your experience. Now, if you're familiar with some of the more higher end JBL earbuds, some of their noise canceling earbuds, I would say that these don't have quite as much bass. For regular standards, I think these have an excellent amount of bass, very punchy, uh, very pronounced, but compared to some of JBL's other earbuds, it's not quite as boomy, not as much extension in terms of the sub bass. So if you're comparing these to something like the JBL Reflect Mini NC from a couple years back, not quite as much bass as those, but comparing them to something like the AirPods Pro, I would definitely say that these do have more bass. You also have really good clarity as well, and they have a lot of range. So within the app, you can really brighten these up and really just tweak them to your personal preference. So having that customizable EQ is definitely clutch. Now, in terms of phone calls, these do have a total of four microphones and they also have the feature called voice aware. So inside the app, you can turn this feature on. And basically what it does is whenever you're on a phone call, it allows you to hear more of your own voice to give you an idea as to how you sound to the other person that you're talking to. Now, I did take a microphone test of these earbuds. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. All right, so what you're listening to is a microphone test of the JBL Endurance Peak 3. So if you needed to take a phone call really quick, this should give you a general idea as to how you would sound. So overall, looking at these for what they're designed for, which is athletes and people that are very active, I think they're a pretty solid choice. Now, I would have liked it if they added active noise cancellation in addition to the ambient mode, but I mean, it is what it is. They have a great fit with that around the ear hook. They're not going to fall off. They've got great sound quality, great battery life. So again, I will put the link down in the description if you're interested. And aside from that, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.